नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू दिस एपिसोड ऑफ सपनों के पंख व्हेन ड्रीम्स गेट विंग्स इन सेक्शन वन ऑफ दिस इंटरव्यू व्हिच वी आर हैविंग विद रीका शालीमार खाखा यू हैड वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ रीका मूव्ड फ्रॉम अ स्मॉल विलेज एनवायरनमेंट इन अ प्लेस कॉल्ड लातेहार दैट्स अ वन डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन झारखंड एंड देन शी हैज शी हैड कंप्लीटेड हर Tenth, her twelfth in Ranchi, her graduation, her post graduation has landed herself in Delhi. If you had not seen episode one, I would highly recommend go through that episode. It's a short content that where Rika tells about her her journey, her her challenges of uh, you know feeling like an alien in her own state because she was not very conversant in English, and but how she, she defied all of those challenges all by herself without a mentor and learnt English. and has scored from her second division in 10th to a first division in her 12th and subsequent exams we are talking to rika and rika you are in delhi doing your your first breakthrough so from ranchi to delhi big city capital of india again must have been bogged down overwhelmed what were the challenges and and tell us something briefly about how you moved through your um, you know your professional life Uh, so I was in Delhi for two years, uh, but, uh, but again it was like a roller coaster for me because I'm um, moving from Ranchi to Delhi, and the, uh, Delhi is a big city, different kind of people. So you know it was again, uh, and the biggest challenge was again the language, right? So um, uh, when you are in working environment, you need uh, very fluent English. Uh, that's what in our country. It is, it is reality, right? So um, I was facing that challenge, and uh, after two years, uh, I applied uh, to uh, to a fellowship program, which was initiated by Ministry of Rural Development. And somehow, uh, or uh, because of my hard work, I would say I got through that. And then uh, I had to work with the uh, with the collector of a very backward uh, district of Jharkhand, uh, that was Simdega in Jharkhand, and I worked there for three years. And uh, there, I got seventy uh, five. thousand salary and that was a big jump for me and uh, you know uh, i mean uh, at that particular time uh, getting 75000 is a huge uh, which, which year are we talking about uh, this was 2014 yeah so uh, it was a great thing to achieve and uh, uh, when i was there uh, at that time only i realized at that i was like uh, among the uh, great breeds because um, in that particular fellowship there were 160 fellows were selected that particular time and everybody was like from great institutes uh, they were from iits and then uh, uh, some were uh, like upsc aspirants so they were big brains and then um, you know i was uh, learning a lot of, of things from them every day so uh, when our fellowship ended um i uh, i saw them that they were like preparing for uh for for going in pursuing their higher studies in uh, Harvard University some people were coming to UK so uh, from there i realized that okay this was also one of my dreams but i because of the language barrier i never thought that i'll be able to make it but um, i thought that uh, there is nothing to lose if you uh, try and fail so i thought that i'll try once and then i'll see whether i get it so uh, since then i started uh, uh, you know working on my application and then uh, uh, in 2020 i uh, applied first and then i got response from six universities manzilon ke liye raaste ganere chuno ra aisi koi anjaane jo bane zindagani baro tesnagi la की मुठिया बांध के अभी about your masters that you wanted now your whole you know the transformation in in you know outlook like you were getting 75000 and then in a job and then you moved to another job which which paid you more than that right but then in in the peer that peers that you were working with the iit graduates the iams and then some of these guys who were aspirants of upsc that 
that experience transformed you to think that no this is not the end or this is not what i want to do i want to do more and that's very interesting boys and girls if you're listening to this interview because at times you feel that you have a target of getting into a job and you get that job and you get that salary and then you make the target move further and then try to achieve towards that target this is what rika has tried to do and then she started thinking about no this is not the end of what i wanted to do i want to go further beyond and then you started applying for scholarships how did the uh, idea of or where, where what was the trigger behind or how did you know about shevening scholarship uh, because it's obviously i understand it's like less than 2% success rate you know massive number of applications but it's one of the prestigious scholarship from british government because it pays for everything 9 months to the tune of 55000 pounds you can actually um, you know you takes care of all your tuition fees um, it takes care of all your living expenses it takes care of all your flight expenses plus you can backpack across europe and and uk if you want to um, but to get a prestigious scholarship like that you really need to be very focused of what you wanted to do what what you want to do and the other thing i wanted to call out is there are very few masters degree courses uh, in in the uk which offers a full फुल्ली uh, फंडेड स्कॉलरशिप पी एच डी येस बहुत सारे पी एच डी के कोर्सेज हैं जो यूनिवर्सिटीज खुद स्कॉलरशिप्स देते हैं लेकिन मास्टर्स में नहीं है तो अगर रीका एंड एंड वील स्पीक टू अ फ्यू कैंडिडेट्स इन मास्टर्स हु हैव गॉट स्कॉलरशिप्स फुल्ली फंडेड दैट्स अ रियल अचीवमेंट दैट्स अ रियल मैसिव अचीवमेंट सो रीका टेक मी टू दैट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इज टाइम लाइन वैन यू अपलाइड फॉर शेवनिंग स्कॉलरशिप एंड यू फेल्ड सो इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी आई अपलाइड टू शेवनिंग एज वेल एज कॉमनवेल्थ स्कॉलरशिप विच इज बोथ यू नो गिवन बाई यू की गवर्नमेंट सो आई अपलाइड बट मे बी दैट टाइम आई वॉज सो मच इन टू द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटीज मे बी सो आई कूडेंट गिव दैट मच ऑफ फोकस इन द स्कॉलरशिप सो आई जस्ट सबमिटेड दैम बट it was not up to the mark maybe so that's why i couldn't make it to the interview that time and uh, i got rejected so this that was like uh, uh a huge you know disappointment for me uh, that uh, i should have uh, put more effort and then made it but uh, i couldn't do that but and when you applied for this shevening scholarship for the first time did you have any mentors anyone who supported you of how to write your statement of purpose and stuff no that time nobody was there but later on i realized that i can take the uh, help from the uh, you know shivening alumni and then uh, people who have already achieved that success so um i talked to some of the shivners who were again uh, you know they were with me uh, in that particular fellowship so they had also done uh, you know i they had achieved the shivening scholarship before so i took help from them uh, on my writ, uh, essay writing and then after that uh, in interview also so uh, but in 2020 i had not taken any help from them so that was the biggest mistake i did we live so um after that um you know what mistake i did in 2020 i never wanted to repeat it in uh, 2021 so in 21 i actually uh, worked on all those things i made a lot of research also um there there are uh, so many uh, videos and then interviews uploaded uh, by the evening scholars on youtube these are available on youtube because this was uh, i was about to ask this question ki agar aaj koi ek uh, uh, graduation graduate लड़का या लड़की अगर शेवनिंग स्कॉलरशिप का ख्वाहिश रखते हो तो वो हाउ वुड दे प्रोग्रेस हाउ वुड दे कनेक्ट विथ अनादर शेवनिंग एलमनी और शेवनिंग स्कॉलर हाउ वुड दे गो अबाउट इट इज इट थ्रू यूट्यूब वीडियोज और इज इट थ्रू लिंकड इन या सो देर आर अलॉट ऑफ मटीरियल्स इन यूट्यूब हाउ यू हैव टू अप्रोच योर ए सी हाउ यू हैव टू राइट इट यू नो हाउ यू हैव टू मेक इट बेटर सो दैट यू नो चांसेस ऑफ गेटिंग सेलेक्टेड वुड बी इंक्रीज सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ वीडियोज एंड देन आई मीन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इफ यू नो समबडी हु आर शेवनिंग स्कॉलर्स यू कैन अप्रोच दैम एंड दे विल डेफिनेटली helping you so uh, and apart from that a lot of organizations now uh, they are starting this kind of counseling and uh, uh, this kind of uh, you know uh, supporting uh, kind of uh, schemes i am also part of some of the mentorship program so that's why i'm uh, telling you so uh, there is one uh, organization called uh, eklavya so they are also uh, running this particular program where they are helping uh, 
know, people from vulnerable communities who are aspiring for the higher uh, education. So that kind of uh, help uh, out there. But uh, apart from that, you can also search on YouTube. Uh, and uh, uh, Shivening itself has a uh, brochure where uh, all of the guidance and everything is uh, written. And, and Erika, I remember apart from Shivening scholarship, you also got another scholarship from um, the government of Jharkhand. Tell us something about that. And when was this scholarship uh, introduced by your government? Uh, so Jharkhand government introduced this scholarship, I think, in uh, 2020. But that time it was quite late. Uh, the session uh, already started. So um, uh, I think first vice came in 2021 only. So that scholarship is uh, also fully uh, fully funded scholarship. So uh, people from Jharkhand uh, uh, who want to come to uh, UK or any other uh, countries for higher education, they can get full uh, scholarship uh, from uh, government of Jharkhand. Fully funded, is it? Yes. Yes, it is. And you did get that scholarship, but at some point you chose Shivening over that scholarship. Yeah, so simultaneously two scholarships were going. Uh, one was the, uh, by the Jharkhand government and another one was uh, Shivening scholarship. So uh, Shivening scholarship released the result uh, first and then I accepted that. And anyway, like uh, Shivening has a, a huge name and it is a prestigious um, scholarship. So I wanted to be part of that family. And uh, in the Jharkhand government scholarship, it took a lot of time to process and all. So later on, when uh, the country Confirmation from Sibling Scholarship came, I withdrew, withdrew my... Uh, take, take me to that moment, Rika, in, where, where was it in 2021? when the announcement yes. that you have got the Sibling Scholarship, yes. the prestigious Sibling Scholarship came. Take me to that moment, that day, when you opened that email or probably probably that news that came in. What was... What was I just wanted to take you through those emotions. Tell me about that. Uh, that was an email and uh, uh, especially uh, when you are selected, Shevening, uh, Shevening uh, sent you the email that uh, we are delighted to uh, see. So uh, when I saw that delighted, I was like, oh my god, I got selected. I was in cloud nine, I would say. It was a, a super, a super duper um, celebration moment for me because I never thought that I'll be able to make it. And when it was uh, materialized, uh, you know, in my life, when it was the confirmation that, okay, you are going to UK and one of the uh, prestigious universities you'll be studying in. So that was a, a biggest moment for me uh, because I never thought that um, coming from this small village, I will be able to uh, pursue my studies uh, somewhere in UK university. So it was a great moment for me. Absolutely, that's, that's so inspiring from somebody who struggled with her English, from somebody who had a second division way back in 2005. Imagine those moments when you get something that you don't expect and then that deters you, demotivates you, you go into a depression. All of those negative and bad things happen. But a true hero is one who defies all of this and thinks, Nay, मैं कर सकूंगी मैं कर सकूंगा मैं करके दिखाऊंगा मैं करके दिखाऊंगी और आप में से जो लोग आज रिका की स्टोरी ये सच्ची कहानी सुन रहे हो देख रहे हो आई एम श्योर यू विल बी इंस्पायर्ड वील कम बैक विल टेक अ ब्रेक फ्रॉम दिस एपिसोड विल कम बैक इन टू अर थर्ड एंड फाइनल एपिसोड वे विल टॉक टू रिका वी विल कनेक्ट विद अ स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम असाम फ्रॉम गुवाहाटी यूनिवर्सिटी सुप्रिया हु इज अ मास्टर्स डूइंग हर मास्टर्स इन वुमेन स्टडीज हुल आस्क रिका अ कपल ऑफ क्वेश्चन but i want all of you to feel inspired and motivated that if you have a dream agar khaish ho agar jazba ho agar junoon ho kar dikhane ki to aap kar sakte ho the only thing that is required required is hard work consistent efforts sapno ke pank when dreams get wings don't miss the last episode and a final episode with rika and we'll talk about her uh, uh, her her aspirations of what she would do after going back to India. Thank you, and this is Ritu Raj from London School of Economics, Central London. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Sada, sapna.